pleased to find out more about engineering and the role of women in engineering. GIT Role Month is very interesting um, because the speakers are sharing their own experiences in college and in industry. I expect to learn more about like engineering and what you study and what jobs you can get from it. Just to learn more about kind of the role of women in engineering and what engineering is all about really. Before today I've never met a female engineer so it's really interesting to see like five, is it five? Yeah. Engineers that are all women and experienced in it. So. And it gives us another insight into a different part of engineering, not just the man side but the woman side as well, which is good for us as women. Today, you're going to get an opportunity to meet women working in engineering and technology who have responsible, rewarding, well-paid jobs. And through a series of talks and question and answer sessions, which you should take advantage of, our role models will share their experiences of working in the world of engineering and the career route they follow to their current job. My name is Kirsten, and um, Dr. Kirsten, I've got more letters after my name than you at this stage. Now forget about whether you're good at maths, forget about whether you're good at physics. If you enjoy figuring out things and thinking about how to make things better or just seeing how things work, if you're the sort of kid who likes playing with Lego or if you're the sort of person who likes figuring out things, you'll be a good engineer. And I suppose the way I'd put it best to you is this, just look around you. What are you wearing? What are you sitting on? What things do you use every day? All of those things were designed by someone. They were built by someone. They were manufactured in their thousands or millions by someone. And all those someones are engineers. You know, that piece of paper that you get after your four years, your honors engineering degree in whatever discipline you choose, if you go into any employer, what that piece of paper tells them is what skills that you have thanks to your degree. So you, you're good with maths, you're logical, you're organized, you're good at working in teams, you can project manage. These are all things that other degrees don't say about you, first off. So I can't stress enough the value of that. Once you're qualified, the, you know, the, the opportunities are massive. Welcome to our company called Guinness, Guinness Peach Aviation. I was an engineering project manager with them. I travelled all over the world for two years. Women are great communicators. We're better talking to people and explaining to people about ideas, and that's really what engineering is about, being part of a team and telling people what your idea is and why you think it's going to work. I knew space was always my, my first love. I just loved it. I loved rockets, I loved astronauts, I loved space, anything space related. To get to go to NASA again, to get to go to Kennedy Space Center and to get to go on all these VIP tours was one of the most incredible days that I've ever had. It was unbelievable standing in front of the space shuttle that had actually been in space. You learn something new every day, we're busy every day, we do different things every day. I get such job satisfaction. I walk into a greenfield site and I get to build fabulous buildings. I get to build roads, I get to build bridges and I leave my job every day and the building has actually developed, it's got bigger. And then at the end of the job, I have a fancy new building left behind me, which I get to look at for the rest of my life. So that's why I love engineering so much.